Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some exciting news about a game that's been on everyone's radar since it first blew our minds back in 2020 Ghost of Tsushima. Now, if you're anything like me, you were absolutely captivated by the original game's stunning visuals, epic samurai battles, and the incredible story of Jin Sakai. But today, we're not just reminiscing about the past, we're looking ahead to the future, specifically Ghost of Tsushima 2, and why this sequel might be taking things in a whole new direction. So, let's talk about what made Ghost of Tsushima so special in the first place. Sure, it borrowed elements from other games like the open-world exploration we see in Assassin's Creed or the combat style reminiscent of the Batman Arkham series. But what really set it apart was how Sucker Punch took these familiar mechanics and polished them to near perfection. It was like they took the best parts of all these games we love and crafted them into something that felt fresh and, more importantly, incredibly satisfying to play. But here's the thing, while Ghost of Tsushima was undoubtedly a hit, it wasn't exactly groundbreaking in terms of gameplay innovation. And that's where the sequel comes in. There's a lot of buzz right now suggesting that Ghost of Tsushima 2 could be shaking things up in a big way. We're talking about a potential radical redesign that might just change everything we thought we knew about the game. One of the most talked about changes is the possibility of a more complex stealth system. If you played the first game, you know that stealth was pretty straightforward, sneak up on an enemy, press the kill button, and boom, you're done. Effective, yes, but not exactly deep. Imagine if Ghost of Tsushima 2 introduces a more intricate stealth mechanic that allows for more creativity and strategy. This could take the game to a whole new level, making stealth a core element rather than just an option. Another area where we might see some big changes is in the RPG elements. The first game had some RPG features like upgrading your gear and unlocking abilities, but it was pretty basic. What if the sequel dives deeper into these systems? Picture a more complex progression system where your choices in skills and equipment truly affect your gameplay style. This could open up a whole new layer of customization and replayability that the first game only hinted at. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, why fix what isn't broken? And you're right, Ghost of Tsushima was a phenomenal game. But the truth is, to keep the series fresh and exciting, Sucker Punch needs to innovate. They have the foundation of an incredible game. Now it's time to build something even more extraordinary on top of it. This is where things get really interesting. If these changes are done right, Ghost of Tsushima 2 could not only surpass the original, but also set a new standard for the genre. It has the potential to break away from being seen as just a better Assassin's Creed and become something truly unique, something that other games will start to emulate. But of course, there's always a risk. With any major redesign, there's a chance that it could alienate fans who loved the original formula. It's a fine line between innovation and losing what made the first game special. So, will Ghost of Tsushima 2 be a game changer or a misstep? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, we're all going to be keeping a close eye on this one. Alright folks, that's all for today. What do you think about the potential changes coming to Ghost of Tsushima 2? Are you excited for a fresh take or do you think Sucker Punch should stick to what worked in the first game? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates. Until next time, keep gaming and I'll see you in the next video.